will enjoy the view at a good gymnastics meet. Today, you'll see Lance Ringnall, the 1988 Olympic finalist, and Bradley Johnson, another Olympian who was the top finisher in the all-around for the USA. Patrick Kirksey is on hand. He is the 1989 Big 8 all-around champion. Wendy Bruce, the 1989 Mixed Pairs champion, seen here on ESPN, along with partner Lee Jean. And Conrad Borsinger, a Stanford University star that led his team to the silver medal at the Pac-10 Championships. Today, it's head-to-head -head competition between Robin Richter and Wendy Bruce. Wendy Bruce, always strong on the uneven parallel bars. In 1989, she's become a true all-around power. And for the men, Mike Williams goes up against Scott Burr. It's one-on-one -on -one gymnastics. We're in Denver, Colorado, where the business of this day is gymnastics. the Total Sports Network, and the United States Gymnastics Federation present the 1989 U.S. Challenge. Today it is show number five, featuring Robin Richter against Wendy Bruce and Mike Williams against Scott Burr. Welcome inside the Denver Coliseum. There are 10 events in store for you on our Friday Night of Gymnastics. Hello, everyone. This is our fifth matchup. I'm Leander Riley, and joining me in this telecast is Olympian Bart Connor. And Bart, first, let's talk about the men. Scott Burr is really a strong competitor, and he really is going to have his work cut out for him tonight. Well, Mike Williams is also very strong. The interesting thing about these two is it's going to show how important consistency is. They both have three or four really outstanding events and a couple of weak events. So who can ever hang on on the weak events is going to be the winner here. All right, this is an excellent matchup for the men. On the women's side, you've seen her before. She's Wendy Bruce. She, we saw her win the mixed pairs here on ESPN. She's going up against a relative unknown, Robin Richter. And Wendy is very hot right now because she's on the team with Brandy Johnson down there in Florida, and they really have a good thing going. I know she's really motivated, and I saw her spirit in the warm-up exercises. Robin Richter is coming off a very big international win this year. She won the Kraft International Invitational in London, so she has good experience as well. All right, it sounds like we have an exciting matchup for our fifth of the six first-round matchups here on our Friday night of gymnastics stay with us we're about to begin gymnastics from denver the 1989 u.s gymnastics challenge continues now from denver colorado for those of you who missed the first format of our show let me explain it to you it's just like a tournament bracket we've already had first round competitions and four matchups this is our fifth matchup and it features wendy bruce and robin richter going head to head on the women's side now, on the men's side, they, too, have had four matchups already. Our fifth matchup you are looking at right now, it is Scott Burr against Mike Williams. Now, on men's gymnastics, they compete in six events. The women compete in four. So in this first rotation, we are only going to see the men, while the women have what we would call a bye. We are following the Olympic order. As you look at Scott Burr, we begin with floor exercise. And Scott Burr was born in Richmond, Indiana. He currently lives in California, but trains in Provo, Utah, as he attends Brigham Young University. Scott is an amazingly talented gymnast. He's only been in the sport for six years. And he's been on the national team for one of those years. Look at that mount. Double back, punch front. He's very explosive. You can see how strong he is, and he's quick off the floor. Good take. Oh, that's a shame. He landed a little short in that double back. He just opened up too early. Those are flared circles. Strong on the fingertips. Very good work. That's a press through plange on fingertips. Do a handstand. Scott's coach up there is at Brigham Young University is Mako Sakamoto, who was the assistant coach for our Olympic team in 84. He was the assistant coach at UCLA and Under spent Archer. a lot of time with Peter Vidmar and Tim Daggett coaching those guys to their Olympic start. His last tumbling run, roundoff, that can spring, 
double full punch front. He likes to do the punch front skills, and they're very impressive because he's so quick off the floor. A strong performance by Scott Burr, the 21-year-old athlete from Brigham Young University. Scott is coached at Brigham Young by Mako Sakamoto, who you may remember as the assistant coach of the 1984 Penn's Olympic team. This opening tumbling run, he does round off back handspring. He really is up there on this tuck double back. And watch right here, punch front. And he was trying to go all the way around to prone without touching his feet in the middle. He wanted to do a front one and a quarter. And then on the next double back, he just kicks out a little early. Good height, good reach, and he just opens up just a hair early. And of course, putting your hands down is a major deduction. And Scott Burr's score for his first performance in the single elimination competition is 9.40. That is the standard that Mike Williams must attain, or at least stay close to, if he wants to survive. Again, it is cumulative scoring that will get you into the next round. And although you may beat an individual on three or four events, it is the total score of all six events added together that will determine who advances. It is an all-around type of competition. Mike Williams was born in Dallas, Texas. He currently resides in Houston, Texas. He also attends Houston Baptist University. Mike is a very talented young gymnast. Nice opening tumbling run. It was a one and a half twisting backflip with one and three quarter flips. Beautifully done. Years ago, Mike used to come up to our gymnastics camps in Oklahoma. And he was always kind of a wild kid, always cutting the big trick. And he loved the daring skills. And you can see now he's perfected his form. He has good polish, but he still likes to go for the big tricks as he did on the opening run. Second pass, front step out. Through to one and a half twist back, punch front. Good combination. And there's something we don't see too often, a nice basic cartwheel. Front punch, front one and three quarter. Boy, he's really powerful. And he's big for a world-class gymnast. He's 5'8 and 150 pounds, which is pretty good size for a gymnast. He's very agile considering he's so big. Dismount, really high, tuck double. Great exercise for Mike Williams. Mike Williams looking to get a 9.4 or better. This opening run is great. One and a half twisting, one and three. Great form, perfectly in control. The second tumbling run, pike front step out. Round off back handspring. Back flip, one and a half twist to a punch front. And his last tumbling run was off the ceiling. He just skies this tuck double back. Look at the lift and the reach right here. Boom! He is up there. No problem. And the score that Mike Williams received for that fine performance on the floor exercise event is 9.50. He is now in the lead by one-tenth of a point after one rotation. We'll be back in a moment.